Hi everybody. How would you feel if somebody asked you to do something that seemed completely impossible? Like leap over your house or run faster than a train? In our story today, we're going to find out about the Israelites who'd come out of Egypt and now had been wandering in the desert for 40 years. God was bringing them to a new land, but there was something in the way and they thought it was impossible to get round. Our video's a bit topsy-turvy this week. We're going to do the craft before we look at the story. For this craft, you're going to need some paper, scissors, sellotape and glue, kitchen roll or toilet roll tube, a plate, a mug and some colouring pencils. Why don't you go and grab those now, pause the video and come back when you've got them. First, place your kitchen roll tube on your piece of paper and draw a little line where the top of your kitchen roll tube comes to. Continue that line across your piece of paper and then cut out that section. You need the large part. Now it's time to decorate our piece of paper. We're going to write on it, God keeps his promises to help us remember the story. And we're also going to decorate it. We've got some cut out paper shapes that we're gonna glue on, but you could use stickers, you could draw pictures. It's completely up to you. Now put glue all the way around the edges on the wrong side of your piece of paper. Once you've done that, take your kitchen roll tube, place it at the top and roll it round the piece of paper so that it sticks. This is where the plate comes in. On a new piece of paper, place your plate halfway along and draw round to make a semicircle. Then place your cup down so it's halfway along in the middle of the semicircle you've already drawn and draw round your cup. If you take your cup away, then it looks like you've drawn a rainbow. We're going to cut along these two lines. And here it is all cut out. Now we're going to use sellotape to join these two short ends to make a cone shape. Attach your cone shape to the top of your tube. Now we have made a decorated trumpet. We're going to need this for our story where some of the characters use a trumpet. Listen carefully to the story and you can join in using your newly made trumpet. God had led the Israelites out of the desert and he'd promised them a new land. But when they got out of the desert, this was the impossible thing that was standing in their way. Jericho. A huge city surrounded by fortified walls. If they wanted to get to their promised land, they somehow had to get through Jericho. How were they going to do it? Let's find out and see what God's plan was. Now the people of Israel had camped outside the walls of Jericho. The people inside the walls of Jericho were afraid. So they locked up all of their doors and gates. They wouldn't let anyone come in and they wouldn't let anyone come out. Joshua asked God what to do. And God said, look, I've got a plan. It might sound a bit crazy, but this is what I want you to do. Joshua went back and told everybody what to do. He got the seven priests to carry seven trumpets and blow them as they walked along. The priests that carried the Ark of the Covenant followed them. Next came the soldiers with weapons. 
they marched in front of the priests, and finally some armed men walked behind the Ark of the Covenant. They were blowing their trumpets. But Joshua had given them some very important instructions. He told them, Don't shout. Don't say a word until I tell you. In fact, be as quiet as you can. So that's how Joshua had the Ark of the Covenant carried around the city of Jericho, all round the outside of the walls. The people inside the walls of Jericho were very confused. They watched as all the Israelites then went back to their camp for the night. Early the next morning, Joshua got up. And just like the day before, he got the priests to carry the Ark of the Covenant again. The seven priests carried the seven trumpets. They marched in front, blowing them. The soldiers with weapons marched in front of them. Other soldiers walked behind the Ark of the Covenant. And all this time, the priests were blowing their trumpets. So on the second day, they had marched around the city one time. And then they went back to their camp. They did this every day for six days. Now on the seventh day, God had a slightly different plan for the Israelites. On the seventh day, they got up at dawn. They had to march around the city seven times. Not once like the days before, seven. The seventh time around, the priests blew their trumpets and then Joshua gave the command that God had given him. Now shout! Shout everybody! The Lord has given you this city. God keeps his promises. When the priests blew the trumpets, the people shouted. Imagine all of those people shouting at the tops of their voices. It was an ear-splitting, deafening noise. And at that sound, the walls of Jericho fell and everyone ran straight into the city. God had kept his promise. I hope you enjoyed that story. You can find it in the Old Testament in Joshua 6. And remember, God always keeps his promises to his people. We can always rely on him.